How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Here they are. So, our objective is to check on the Manus, or the Mantis, rather. Where's our dino bird here? So, I think we are <clears throat> heading over this way. Looks like quite a extensive area that we are able to. Ah, Looks like the Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad. It's crazy looking over here. So it looks like quite an extensive area we are explore over here. What is in here? Oops. <laughs> Excuse me, buddy. Oh my god, these things. <laughs> Cannot stand those things. That door wouldn't last against a roller mine. But where are we gonna find one around here? So we need to find a roller mine. Good thing about those is they, uh... Come over here, buddy. Good thing about those is they follow you pretty far, so... That's how we get back across. Let me go over this way first. Oh, what's up here? That thing walks so funny. Looks like it has to go to the bathroom or something. Oh, this is a Mogi den? Interesting. Is there one in here? Oh, that's interesting. It's just like... Look at the, whoa, I was going to say, look at the stormtrooper there. Guess we found our roller mine. Follow me. Oh, you. Guess it ran into that thing. Oh, I 
something with the lousy droid. Get out of here, Skazza. Hey, stop that. See if, I, if there's another one over here. Yeah, I think that's a. Now, as long as nobody interferes with my roller mine, should be good. Come on. Another. Force Padawan. Ooh, it's a big shiny chest. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea what that is. But it looks like a nice shiny chest. Did you do that? Wait, what? No! Looks like we can't go through there. Another, yet another barrier. This is absolutely massive. It's ridiculous. Don't kill me! Kill you? I just saved your fool life. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Well. If you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is Raider territory. Oh. So that's how the uh, the little frog guy got rescued. That's cool. Here. 
high spots I can jump to. It's not up here, so. Oh, there's something up there, actually. A mojo over here. Throwing a temper tantrum. my warrior friend I haven't seen such fighting since the championship <coughs> we are in your debt what are you doing out here we were out looking for the biggest strongest beasts to fight each other winner take all within our hollow tactics game table of course hollow tactics huh that's right and you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game just as soon as we find a place to set up shop of course my friend might be interested. He runs Pyloon Saloon. Ah, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. That dumb? I didn't realize it was open. Well, tell you what. We're more than happy to bring hollow tactics to Pyloons. Good liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moo. All things in their own time, Bima. See you around. Nice. <laughs> Crooting more people. over there. The hell do you do with these? Can you like grab onto it or something? Uh nope. <laughs> Went right through it. Um alright. Not sure what the deal with that is. Like this is a area I really can't do much with right now. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Yeah, this does not look something I have the tools for right now. Uh, let me just rest up. Focus. Stims back. Yeah, certainly a lot of stuff around, but uh, it's like a lot of it I still can't access yet. It's 
stuff. Another red spot. All set. Something beyond the waterfall. I wonder how long this has been here. I didn't do much else in here. This little opening over there, but I know how to get over there. All right. This is locked off. Ooh, what is that? That looks something, like something story related over there. It's like a big encampment. Quit your belly aching, Leo. Let me see it. Shoot, that ain't gonna heal. Sorry, hun, not your day. Way of the world, Leo. Rather you in the ground peaceful than someone's dinner. So I'm curious, Jess, what was your what was your first experience with anything having to do with Star Wars? And uh let me know how you you know, let me know how you get into it. Let me know in the comments. Uh for me personally, I think it was uh when I was about nine or ten. I'm gonna take you out. Now, is that smart? You just... just blew up your friends, buddy. Jeez. Um, anyway, so for me personally, I was about nine or ten, and, um, my mom was watching, uh, I think, uh, Return of the Jedi and on TV. Get the enemy oh. I'm on it. You know, All you're right. interrupting my story here. Give me more. And she was watching uh, Return of the Jedi on TV. And I was like, I came down, I was like, oh, what is this? She's like, oh, it's Star Wars. And I'm like, I so like, absolutely mesmerized, honestly. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, I need to watch this. Another, oh, that's another echo. The charge is set. Get back. What, nothing? Uh, I thought you said this was good thermite. Trying to go in there, buddy? What are you trying to do? Uh, I don't... You got it. It's just one of those things we can't go into. It's okay, BD. We'll find another way. Yeah, there's another thing over there we can't interact with. Yeah, see what I mean? Like this. Um, hello? Can I get on you? Thank you. Still a lot we can't interact with over here. Oh god. Don't hurt my dino bird. Jump. Throwing your lightsaber is like super effective for those things. It's in here. A 
containment control center? The fuck? Focus. Yeah, and I feel like this is something story related. So I'm gonna dip back here. So yeah, um, I was absolutely memorized by uh, um, Return of the Jedi and I subsequently needed to watch all the other ones. And that was it. That was a wrap. I mean, what can I say? I'm a big nerd. I, uh, I love Star Wars and I love, uh, I love Star Trek as well. Alright, so... Some of your killer chicken. So I suppose we should uh, get back on track here. I think, uh, yep, this is where we need to go. Oh, you know what I just thought of? There's all these guys over here. How much you want to bet this is how you get this chest? You got it. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, what? Can't go in there? That's a bunch of bullshit. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch at Dumma's shop. Ah, uh, that's shitty. Can't do anything with that. After all that time, I need to know what's in there. What's up, buddy? Hey, little guy. going. Let's get back to Grease and Bode. Tell them what we found. It all looks like we're actually going up here. I think, anyway. Cantina. I mean, it looks like the uh, objective's like pointing up there, but. The new fella. Howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Is it worth the hike? I wouldn't know. Never been there myself. I'm too steep to climb. And there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. It's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. And you'll see the true majesty of Kobo. I just know it. The gorgeous secret. Okay. The side mission. Yeah, like I said, I assume we're going in the canteen.
about paying off that brute and his gang so I can drink undisturbed. Sorry, Big Wheel. We're not exactly flush with credit. Let's see what we find up here. Ah, lad! Cast your eyes over this beauteous tank! Glad you came around to it. Hey, did me make a fetching first impression. Have a mind to get a third scrubbing. Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to cram a mollusk through a sieve? Oh, can't unhear that. <coughs> What's up, dude? Thirteen. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. So I was thinking, you head there and check things out and we split whatever you find 50-50. We'll see, Turtle. <laughs> was that your ship that flew by the cantina? That was the Stinger Mantis, all right. Technically, it's Grease's ship. Grease has told me some real tales about that thing. I wouldn't take Grease's stories too seriously. Oh. So I suppose it isn't true that Grease once flew the Mantis into the heart of the Haxian Brood asteroid base? Guns blazing to save you from a death match? No. Oh, actually, yeah. That happened. <laughs> Over here. Oh, God, welcome, welcome! Why not step up and try your hand at Hollow Tactics? The game of sages and warriors alike. No thanks. I will try that later. Some more additions up here would be nice. Nice. What are you doing, BD? What's the garden? Dude, I swear. Yeah, like, it wants us to do something with the mantis over here. Not what the interaction is, though. Good as new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. I must know. Did you locate the key to Tannenor? Uh, it's complicated. But we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. We've got room for one more. I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got, another holocron? A Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me, escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. He says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real, Grease. It's hidden somewhere in the Abyss. Oh, that's impossible. The Abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody's been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the Abyss, you could just... disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No Bounty Hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. 
Get your feet down. Ah. All right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and then. We again. don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm... I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but... I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Aha! It's about time you paid that lady a visit! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make us some food before we go. Okay, welcome back to the outpost. Don't forget to visit Doma, Domas with any rare materials you found and plant seeds in the rooftop garden. Cal can meet more new residents who can help improve the outpost. Z's shop unlocked. Z's shop in the upper floor of Palloon Saloon is now accessible. High Republic data disks found across the galaxy can be spent here. Ah, okay. The garden on the saloon rooftop is now accessible. Seeds collected across Kobo can now be planted here. Jetta. Alright. So let's see. Yeah, I think uh, we will call the episode here, and uh, we will continue on in the next one. Not sure if we're probably going to be heading to Jetta. Um, I mean, we could certainly do more exploring around here, but I feel like um, there's more uh, stuff to unlock uh, in order to fully explore. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you, and let the Force be with you.